All right, YouTube, this is my first video. This is a 1988 Yamaha Bravo short track. Um, I have the motor out of it to do a tub repair. You can see it's all rusted through. Um, this video might not make a little sense with the audio. I had to do a voiceover because for some reason my phone did not record. Um, and we're going to talk about doing the crank seals on this motor. Um, I was not aware of the fact that you actually have to split the motor in order to do so. So here's our new crank seals. Um, you can see that there's a lip around them. And I've never seen crank seals like this before. But this lip that Yamaha puts on them will go into a groove over by the bearing journals. There's the groove right there. Now this missing section right here, that needs to be aimed upwards if the motor was sitting upright. And that allows the oil to get through this little oil passage right here so it gets into your bearings. Uh, it's going to be the same deal on the other side. The seal has a, a rim on the middle of it and it will go in that groove. Uh, pro tip for engine rebuilds, uh, whenever you're doing a seal, it's the industry standard to put your part numbers uh, or any writing or any digits on the outside face of the seal. So looking at this, this would be the inside and the numbers would face outside outwards so here you can see we got the new crank seals in uh, we have a healthy amount of oil on the wrist pin connecting rod and main bearings here's the bottom half of our case we got all the mating surfaces all cleaned up we'll put some yama bond 4 on there to glue it together it's important you don't have any air leaks on a two-stroke motor so it went back together pretty easily. There are four bolts initially uh, torqued to 11 foot pounds and then there are four other bolts on the, that's the motor mount, also cranked to 11 foot pounds. Um, also worth uh, telling you guys, if you're going to try and do this project, you will need a harmonic balancer puller in order to get off the magneto flywheel. This is the oil pump drive gear that goes on the primary clutch side that required a pulley to come off. I used this cheap puller, two jaw puller, um, which ended up bending and cracking, um, not getting it done. So I had to use this three jaw puller, which I unfortunately had to modify the teeth at the bottom. You can see I cut the bottom off so that I could fit fit those lips right under that gear and, and able to pull it off but the three jaw puller pulled the thing right off no problem so that's about it um yeah very surprised that i had to split the motor in order to do crank seals never seen that before but i hope the video